Chapter 4, Envisioning Your Ideas to Reality First comes thought, then organization of that thought into ideas and plans, then transformation of those plans into reality. The beginning, as you observe, is in your imagination. Napoleon Hill Trance Tips Here are some exercises on self-help trance that you can do by yourself or with another person softly whispering to you. Relax, close your eyes, do not squeeze your eyelids too tightly. Put your hands on your sides loosely, your feet on the floor, remain calm. Repeat each definition three times, then pause after each word. Create an intense mental image in your subconscious. Visualize that my car is beautiful. Make this a part of your reality. Visualize this in vivid details. My car is beautiful. My car is beautiful. My car is beautiful. Visualize a brighter future. Make this a part of your reality. Visualize in vivid details the brighter future you desire. My car is beautiful. My car is beautiful. My car is beautiful. You can do this even in a noisy environment. You are not forced to do this in a quiet area. This is just a baseline. The rest is up to you to add on what you desire. You should change the quote to suit your desire by writing a minimum of 10 different options to fit your desire. Once you have done so, read them twice a day. They should be done before you go to sleep and after you wake up. When you are meditating on a trance state, this position is not essential. What is important is for you to be fully comfortable so you can sit, lie down, stand up, or whatever is more comfortable for you. What is significant is your breathing, which you should focus on that will fill your lungs. Having spiritual music around you is good. It will relax and help you make powerful. It will help your creativity and put you in tune with the universe. Being yourself does not help, but being your spirit does change you. Pride, arrogance, conceit, and deceit are enemies that will and can destroy you. It is better to be humble and strong. Bring to mind that the condensed time creation is a secret of the universe. How you deal with life in general is how you perceive it to be, while you, on the other hand, create your own reality of success. Otherwise, you not consciously control your conscious, not the subconscious controlling you. Now back to a trance state. Meditating or meditating into a trance can be better accomplished not by cutting your hair on any part of your body. I know this may seem crazy. However, if you want to achieve the best results, then do not cut what we were created with and that grows naturally. You do not have to agree because you have become accustomed to 21st century style of living which is to be shaven and clean cut. Yet, if it grows, there must be a reason for none of your physical characteristics were given to you without a reason. By respecting the creation, you are respecting the creator. If you do this exercise with another person, that one person should be behind you facing the same way while you are comfortably sitting in a chair. That person should rub your temple and move all their energy through their fingertips by vibrating them from your head to your lower back while you are in trance. And they should whisper in your ears calmly the suggestion I have written for you. This is called trance. Wake up open your eyes and then focus on a new thought. Deep down in my heart, I truly believe without any shadow of a doubt whatsoever that I am happy, grateful, 
stronger and can live out my dreams now. Whatever you do, do not obsess over the idea you focus on during trance. The reason for this will be explained later on. Lead yourself into trance with the step presented previously just before you go to sleep and when you wake up. Continue by adding more dreams to personalize the experience both in the professional and personal side. Go ahead and do it now. Do this to help motivate yourself to stay positive by visualizing your dreams, wishes, and desire. You can create positive energy, emotions, and feelings about them. In your mind, sense, see, touch, taste, feel, believe, and live the experience. These are your visions and dreams, visions, and desire, and you will be excited about them. Visualizing your dreams and wishes with positive energy, emotions, and enthusiasm is one of the best ways to eliminate doubts. Do not let negative thoughts and emotions enter your mind or visions. With the aid of positive feeling of accomplishment and excitement, you can leave feelings of doubt and inequality on the back burner. No, you are not just faking it. You are envisioning. Your mind never sleeps. Your subconscious mind is always working. Your subconscious mind sparks your ability to transform what you think into reality. That is why the best time to visualize your wishes is when you are going to sleep and once you wake up. Keep the list I have asked you to write next to you so that you can review it before you turn off the light. Then start your trance and meditation. Visualize the realization of your wishes. You may not only believe that it will happen, but that it did and has already happened. You must believe in what you want or wish that it is. During your hours of sleep, your subconscious will continue on its own. It will organize, explore options, and come up with solution and path to solve them. By doing this, you are controlling your subconscious and making it work over time for you. Remember that the answer will not appear immediately upon awakening. It is like building your muscles. This takes time. Do not expect to get into physical shape in one day. Do not expect to look in the mirror, flex your muscles and your arm. As a result, see yourself with a great body. Building physical muscles is a gradual process that requires you to be patient and realistic about seeing progress. However, you must act as if you had it now. When you force that belief, the result comes faster. For instance, if you talk to your friend about being broke and not being able to take someone out on a date, but at the same time you say you want to date, you are contradicting yourself. Change it by saying, I can take someone out on a date, I can afford it. If you are a writer and your book talks about how women or men leave their partners, or you're just writing a fictional book where on the cover women or men have their back turned away from the readers. What does this imply? You are writing about failed relationships and the book cover represents that women or men are not interested in you. The problem is you want to date. This is what you say in private. Yet your innermost thoughts do not reflect that in your book or on each cover you have illustrated. Do you follow? By deliberately choosing to change your writing and book cover to reflect what you want, there will be no contradiction in your desire. With this, you will see a proven difference. Learn this new skill of trancing at first may make you feel stupid, uncoordinated, and even angry. You may feel like a real klutz, 
You might feel weird and awkward and do not let that stray you away from your objective. Stay focused, not because you have to, but because you want to. One day you will say, I'm glad I committed to it. Stare at your ceiling while you do this and do not make excuses for not doing it. Always visualize in the present tense. Do not use the past or future tense because yesterday is already gone and tomorrow might never come. See yourself in your dream and wishes as if you're already where you want to be. Compress time to the now by your present moment. Remember, everything that has been created was once a vision. All was a vision before it became a physical reality. Once you get into the habit of constantly visualizing the result you want, they will become real. You will notice an increase in your self-confidence and your level of enthusiasm. You will identify the point previously explained where your vision becomes the experience of your present life. Once you can visualize your wishes and dreams, you accomplish them. Intertwining yourself with the universe is your goal. When trancing, do not underestimate the importance of value. It is essential to ask yourself, am I designing my life around that which I value most? Is what I am working to achieve something I truly value? Am I experiencing any conflict between my goals, dreams, wishes, desires, and my value? Have my accomplishments or failures produced empty or exciting feelings? When you are visualizing, be careful to avoid any negative information. Block out those negative thoughts with positive visions. Train yourself. Train yourself. Train yourself. I cannot emphasize this more. Train yourself to the fullest. Another tool you can use is meditation. This must be explained as being different from trance. You can do this exercise on your own or with others. However, you cannot interfere with the practice of others around you. I will show you how to learn the universal law of creation. Pretend that you are Aladdin. In this analogy, the secret is the lamb, while the genie represents the universal consciousness, which is the universal law of creation. The universal law of creation will give you everything you want since you are the master. Now, you must follow three steps. While you imagine you are floating in space and being one with the universe, do the following. Ask. Give the universe a command. Write it down on a piece of paper. Ask the universe what you want, what you require, and work out your desire in details in order to avoid giving the universe mixed messages. The universe, or warehouse, might see your message as a negative signal and not a positive one. Remember, this may happen even if it was not your intention to do so. Look at the universal consciousness as a catalog and choose from it your desire in the same way you place an order on the internet. When you order from a catalog or website, you have to wait until your order is delivered, but you know you have it even if it's not in your hand yet. Believe. You must believe what you command is already yours. You must believe that you already have received it. See the things you want as if they were already yours and believe it unconditionally you must ask speak and think in the present that you have it and received it do not doubt it otherwise you will not receive it the unit will not accommodate events for you not to receive it you must convince yourself that you already have it before you actually do claim the things you want and all obstacles will move out of your way. Make believe until it becomes real. Receive. Feel it now and feel good so the universe 
and your desire know you want it. And it is. You are required to feel it. Put your frequency on all good things to come. You receive all the things that make you feel good. You receive all good things now. You know, you feel, and you create. Life is what you make it. Ask, believe, and receive. Once you bring even a small doubt into this, the universe consciousness will knock out what you should have received and send you what you did not want. So you will have to restart all over again. You have come to an age where you must develop your own personal belief and not rely on what your parents believed. The universal consciousness is real. You can use valid objects to examine it. It is in your nature to examine the universe to comprehend it. That is, it follows certain laws and is predictable. However, most of us are poor examiners. Usually, we are subject to prediction and we have profound tendency to see what we want to see rather than what is really there. Consequently, to examine it, enhance, understand accuracy, it is necessary for you to put yourself through the discipline of experience so that you cannot feel that you know something unless you have actually experienced it. While the discipline method begins with experience, a simple experience itself is not to be trusted. Experience must be repeatable, usually in the form of an experiment. Along with the event, the experiment must be verifiable, and in that, others must have the same experience under the same circumstance. You no longer go by blind faith. This may seem strange, but not only should you change outside, but also inside. Even if you are in the same old place, change how you see it. The whole world desires to look different, feel different. Feel how warm, safe, loving, exciting, and good it is for you are a part of the solution. Possibilities are endless. Because you are now open to suggestion and optimistic about the future, you are apt to interact with great people. Consciously determined work and energy will create your positive results.